Titans. So episode one just came out today and we're going to be doing my review for it. So this is a very anticipated DC show of mine and of the community. So we're going to be breaking it down, talking about everything in the episode. This is going to be more of a review because I don't have too much time to do a full on breakdown. I think from next week onwards I will be analysing it like I do in my other reviews. In this one, it's the first episode, I'm going to talk about my overall thoughts rather than delving too deep into the plot even though we probably will revisit it next week. If you do go on to enjoy this video on Titans, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Titans videos later this year. So Titans Episode 1 has been released on DC Universe. I really enjoyed this, this was entirely satisfying. I give it a 4 star out of 5 which is very very good. Considering this is episode 1, this is a great mix of tone from comedy to darkness. The brutality of the show is something that I was kind of in awe of in all of its beautiful destructive capabilities because it feels like this is a really grounded take and the versions of the characters of the titans that we see are realistic even though it seems obviously heightened. You feel a true connection right from the very start and that is made apparently clear that that is meant to happen by the visceral violence obviously as you see the epic fight scenes with Robin and also Starfire gets a really nice fight scene and additionally Raven goes crazy and so the standouts of the episode were definitely Raven and Robin I thoroughly enjoyed them I adored Raven throughout I was totally engaged in her story and her life I'm so excited for next episode and also same thing for Robin very intrigued with what happened with Batman obviously we got teasers of what happened but we're going to be developing that sort of link between these father figures in Titan season one so in regards to Starfire she didn't really have too much to do in this episode I thought she was pretty good I wasn't too impressed but the only reason why I wasn't too impressed is she didn't get as much screen time as some of the other characters same thing goes for Beast Boy, he was in one scene, the end credit scene of the episode, so I'm not really going to comment on either of those two right now, but everything else that I'm seeing, the tone, the ideas that they're going for, they've set it up extremely well in this one episode. In this episode, they do a great job at setting up the connection of how the Titans are going to come together, laying seeds throughout the episode, and it's been excellently done and portrayed in this very cinematic way that a lot of TV shows actually lack to do due to the the mass content they try to emit out there and I feel like with the limited amount of episodes they've been given a budget and they've done an amazing job in terms of cinematography, set design, it's all impeccable and it looks beautiful from the outside. So to wrap up my review on the episode, you get to see various aspects of what's going to be happening in season one. So you get to see the idea of how Starfire is going to progress because she doesn't remember who she is and you see Beast Boy obviously using his powers for his own good right at the very end of the episode you see Raven and her struggle and how everyone is after her and this is mainly linked to probably Trigon and his cult of followers who are going to be trying to get Raven and it seems like that was definitely one of the main parts of the episode and furthermore we get introduced to Robin and his police work and the different aspects of his past in regards to Bruce Wayne we get a line where Bruce Wayne actually says something and we get to visit Robin as a child with the flying Grayson so there's a lot of backstory put into this one episode and it works really well so the combination of the tone with the extreme visceral violence and the standout characters that being Robin and Raven make this premiere a triumph so thank you guys so much for watching and next week obviously I'll go more into depth into my actual analysis of the episode I felt like it was episode one I had to talk about my thoughts more so than the plot so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later goodbye